While some trains are specifically manufactured to carry passengers, they designed others for freight. Regardless of the area of focus, some trains are so large that they carry a load weighing tons without feeling like they've done too much. These 10 trains are the largest in the world. The Gon. The Gon passenger train is the only one that runs between Darwin and Adelaide in Australia. It covers a distance of 1,851 miles in 54 hours. The entire train had an average of 26 carriages made of steel. However, it once pulled 99 carriages, which adds up to about 3,934 feet long. They named the train after camel drivers from Afghanistan who migrated to Australia during the late 1800s. The service is an abbreviated version of its old nickname, the Afghan Express. During high demand, the trains are sometimes extended to 44 carriages. Although there have been longer passenger trains assembled for specific purposes, the GON is the longest that operates a regular service. Journeys on the GON take three days and pass through the heart of the Australian outback. This route's been re-engineered several times over its 90-year history. The route was modernized in 1979 with the narrow gauge sections being replaced with a standard gauge track by 1982. Tokaido Shinkansen N700 This train operates on the Tokaido Line, a high-speed railway line operated by the Central Japan Railway Company. The route was officially opened in 1906 and operated from Tokyo. This high-speed train had 16 car train sets, making the total length 1,325 feet long. When it was opened in 1964, it was the world's first high-speed railway line. Today, it reaches speeds of 285 kilometers an hour. Tokaido is the name of the main road connecting the former capital to the present-day capital during the Edo period. The fastest train category on this rail line is Nozomi. There's four departures per hour in each direction, with more activities during peak hours. The Hikari is the second fastest in the category. It serves a few more stations than Nozomi and requires three hours each to reach Shinosaka from Tokyo. All Takedo Shinkansen trains have two classes, namely green car and ordinary car. Their services offer snacks and drinks to passengers, even though it's an unofficial practice in Japan to buy food before boarding trains. SJ Class RC The SJ Classic RC train is the most widely used electric train in Sweden. It's a universal carriage used either as a freight or passenger train. These locomotives were first introduced in Sweden in 1967 to replace RA locomotives used during the 1950s. It's notable for using thyristors instead of the older relay-based system. The longest one can pull an average of 17 coaches. In February of 2012, there was a shift as the locomotive pulled 22 coaches, measuring over 1,738 feet. There have since been eight versions of the RC locomotive in Sweden designed to pull iron ore trains. All the latest versions, including RC1, 2, 4, and 5, have a maximum speed of 135 kilometers an hour. The more it advances, the higher its speed. As of 2020, the RC locomotives are still used around Sweden in both passenger and freight lines. Most of them have now been replaced by a new EMU. Barnum & Bailey and Ringling Bros Circus Trains Aside from the auto train that operates between Florida, Sanford, Lorton, and Virginia, the Bailey Ringling Bros Circus Trains are the longest train in America. They're also the longest privately owned ones on the globe. These circus trains have around 60 cars and tour the United States in overlapping two-year cycles. Circus trains are well-suited for the transportation of heavy equipment, like machinery, vehicles, wagons, and even gigantic animals. During the 1820s, about 30 animal circuses were touring the eastern United States. Unfortunately, it's been involved in tragic accidents over the years. Ringling Bros and Barnum and & Bailey circuses grew to dominate live entertainment by purchasing many other American circuses. 
This partnership closed its doors in May 2017, and its train cars were either sold off or auctioned. Kirby Family Farm purchased some of the cars and planned to convert them into dormitories for kids with special needs. In Germany, smaller circus operations gradually switched to road transport in the second half of the 20th century. America's railroad has played a crucial role in connecting and entertaining its residents. Subsan Trains The Subsan train is the Russian gauge high-speed electrical train operating between Moscow and St. Petersburg. It was launched in December 2009 at a speed of 255 miles per hour and it measures approximately 1,640 feet long. This train derived its name from the fastest bird in the falcon family. The facility is constructed to adapt to the harsh Russian climate. Travel time between both cities is four hours and there's more than 10 trains a day for the route. Following the success of the trains, Subsans is beginning to open new routes in Russia. Each of them have two large information panes displaying the temperature, speed, and carriage number. This facility meets all of the safety standards and is made of fireproof resistant materials. It's soundproof too and designed to give travelers enough space. All the coaches are equipped with toilet facilities and large panoramic windows made of multi-layered glass. Aside from the famous Moscow and St. Petersburg, this train runs to some Russian towns like Tver, Okulovka, Nizhny Novgorod, and Vladimir. BHT Billion Trains BHT Billion is an Anglo-Australian multinational mining company majoring in mining petroleum and metals in Australia. The company owns a long train with 268 cars and weighs around 43,000 tons. It can carry 24,200 tons from the mines. It's composed of two SD70 Ace locomotives at the train's head and two more that are remotely controlled mounted in the middle. The company used to run various trains which had 336 cars and nearly 10,000 feet long, carrying up to 44,400 tons of iron ore. The longest record-breaking vessel from BHT measured 23,950 feet and had 682 cars. This train was the heaviest in the world, weighing a whopping 99,734 metric tons. There was no other train that beats its size. It was powered by eight locomotives distributed along the train to keep the coupling loads and curve performance controllable. The train was driven 170 miles by a single driver and the trip took 10 hours and 4 minutes. This attempt was to test the technology behind pulling heavier and longer trains. It beat the record set in 1991 in South Africa where a train pulled 660 cars. Rio Tinto Trains the Rio Tinto Rail Network services 15 mines and is Australia's largest privately owned rail network. The network had three long trains carrying ore from their mines. The trains measure 7,874 feet long and can carry more than 29,500 tons of freight. History was made in June 2019 when this rail completed the transition to automated operation of its 1,500-kilometer railway in Western Australia. It's the first to commence an automated network. It operated up to 50 automated and unmanned trains at once. Each of the 240 wagons required two to three locomotives that haul 28,000 tons of iron ore from the company's 16 mines. Despite the successes achieved so far, the company said it's optimistic that it can improve further. The principal engineer of the project said the trains are giant autonomous robots because they make all the decisions. There's a network of computers that ensure that the train keeps to its speed limit and mitigates incidents. There's also other devices that protect passengers and everyone on board. The main advantage of trains like this is its safety and productivity. Dachin Railway Trains The Dachin Railway is the longest transporting railway line in North China. It's named after two terminal cities called Sarong and Qinhuangdao. 
The longest iron ore trains in China are from this railway line, and they have around 210 wagons, with a length of 10,500 feet. These trains carry coal from the Datong mines to the mining center in Xinhuangdao. The freight trains operating on this route carry up to 20,000 metric tons, meaning it has the largest carrying capacity in China. This line was constructed between December 1984 and December 1992. Its design capacity was pegged at 100 million tons a year, which was reached only after 10 years. However, the continuous upgrade has increased its capacity and speed while producing stronger locomotives, longer trains, centralized traffic control, automatic train inspection, and higher capacity. In 2016, newer locomotive models were introduced to the Dachin line to replace the older ones. Karaha's Railway Trains Owned by a multinational corporation specialized in mining metals, Caraja's Railway Trains is one of the longest bulk trains in Brazil. It measures around 9,843 feet long with about 300 cars. It connects the largest open pit iron ore mine in the world, about 120 million tons of ore and 350,000 passengers travel on it yearly. Inaugurated in 1985, this railroad isn't only large, but leads the ranking for the most effective railways in the country. Its resources range from an advanced control center and drive system to stimulators and radio frequency identification. The first 15 kilometers of rails on the Carajas Railroad was laid in 1982. The feasibility studies began almost a decade earlier. The first passengers arrived in March of 1986. Soon, the trains began carrying grain and oil products before adding other materials. Today, they carry liquid, grains, fertilizer, fuel, iron ore, and lots more. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. He does leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Sishin Saldana Railway Trains The Sishin Saldana Railway Line is the longest ore export line in Africa. It also boasts some of the longest trains in Africa at 13,451 feet long. This ore export line is 535 miles long and connects the mines around Sishin with the port in Saldana Bay on the Western Cape. This line is used to transport ore and doesn't carry passenger traffic. The initial train links had three Class 9E electronic locomotives with a payload of 80 tons. The length was later increased in 2007 to 342 wagons with a total mass of 41,400 tons. In October 2019, the train length was increased to 375 wagons. This upgrade means that the payload of trains is moved from around 19,000 tons to 23,625 tons per train. The company hopes to increase capacity by optimizing the use of its assets, wagons, and locomotives. Until another scintillating episode, adios.